In this Microsoft Excel file, we have the data disposed in rows. Each row represents a specific percentage of cotton, and the columns represent the replicates of the tensile strain tests. To perform the one-way analysis of variants, we are going to select Data, and then Data Analysis. If the Data Analysis is not there, you must install the Data Analysis toolpath first. In the Data Analysis window, we have to select a Nova Single Factor and click OK. In the Nova Single Factor window, we have to select our input range that are the cells with our data. And then we select if the data is grouped by columns or rows. In our case, the data is disposed in rows. As our first column contains the levels of cotton percentage, we have to check the box labels in the first column, and the level of significance is 0.05. Finally, we have to select our output options. I will choose the first one, Output Range, and select the first cell for the output results. Okay. The results of the ANOVA single factor analysis consist of two tables. The first one is the summary of our day. We have the group labels in the first column that represents the cotton percentage. The second column, the count, shows the number of replicates in each level. The third column has the sum of all results. And then we have the one with the averages. And finally, the variance in the last column. We are going to add one more column in this table, the standard deviation, as we will need this information for the final presentation of the results. We calculate the standard deviation as the square root of the variance. The second table has the results of the ANOVA table. We have the source of variation, the sum of squares, the degrees of freedom, the mean square, the F0, the p-value, and the F-critical. I am transferring this result to the presentation to look into it more carefully. <laughs>